What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Gonna do a quick uh, little like a top five type video real quick of uh, my favorite knives uh, and they are obviously going to be about front flippers. Now that is my favorite deployment method. Um, I just have always liked it uh, since I got my first one honestly. I think it was the Kubi Royal. Um, I think that was my first uh, front flipper and as much as that thing tore up my finger just because the jipping was so like aggressive. Uh, I liked I liked it. It, was, it felt great doing it. Loved, loved fidgeting with it. And ever since then, it's been my favorite type of deployment method, like I said. And this being one, this would be the only one I showed twice. Obviously, it was in my other video that I did. Um, and it's still one of my favorites um, that I've actually handled. Not just like ones I've owned, but also handled. And this is the Kunwu Estau. It's just a great knife overall. A little bit bigger, not bad. Great fits great in my hand and everything like that and it's probably the one of the ones I fidget with the most like over the past year and a half like it really is the one that I've used the most um it's out of two of these knives front flipping wise that I own I, I think I own like a total of 10 it's the second one that I can do this to with my finger obviously I can just flip it open this way um I can't do that with any other I don't know maybe I'm just a little goofy my my fingers are a little small I don't know whatever though but it also has like two other deployment methods you have your thumb hole and then your reverse flip um flipper tab right there not bad um they open up very well each way and this is actually something i upgraded a while back is the pocket clip they have a also titanium pocket clip instead of the wire clip so and for like 30 bucks i was able to update that and that it just it makes it almost look like a new knife to me it just it's a great knife and it's even better with that pocket clip right there which i absolutely love but that's, these aren't necessarily in any order. Um, yeah, but we'll go ahead and, that's like the oldest one I have. Let's get into number five, I guess. This is if I had to put them in an order, this would be the probably the fifth one on the list. And this is the Kaiser Veratus. Um, I actually got this knife a few months ago. And it was a new variation of like, because color-wise and everything like that. I like the blackout version with the lightning anno. Um, I thought that was really kind of cool. It's got the backspacer to go with it. And this is the other one that I can, as I say, that I can't flip it open with my finger. There, oh, almost. Good Lord. There we go. There we go. So it is the other one I could flip open like that. Um, another great front flipper. Now, they are a little different if you look at them. Just a little bit. These are pretty close right here. These two are. And even the... Oh, I guess I won't say it just yet. The next one's kind of close to it, but not really. But, you know, you'll see in a second. Um, but this I really liked because it also has a very slim design to it. It's like a slim feel in your hand. And it opens very well. Like, it, like it just feels thin right through here. Um, it's obviously a little thicker right there. Not, not bad, though. But it just it makes up for it. But it feels really good in your hand. I like the way it looks. I like the carry. It is S35VN, which is a pretty good steel that I like. This one is Vanex, which is one of my favorites. Um, but this is a great knife overall. Um, yeah, I really was impressed with this. I was, I can't remember how much it was. It was like 170 or something like that. So not bad for the price. Like over, for, overall for the price, it was a pretty good knife. I really, really like the front flipping action on it too. Um, this was a frame lock. This was a frame lock as well. And these are all nope three of them are frame locks and then two are different like for uh locking mechanisms but it opens very well like i was really surprised by it at first i couldn't get my finger to open it like that but just a little bit of time and i was finally able to all right number three uh, this was my like my knife of the year my favorite knife last year now it's not my favorite front flipper but it is my favorite knife um just the size of it and the it's the blade shape it just it looks good overall you got your titanium uh, diamond texture you got your di uh, titanium pocket clip right there it's a frame lock it's a van x what's not the like right um i like that it i can flip it open very very well with the thumb hole and the flipper tab is pretty 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 good and uh, like i said it's very comparable to the other two right here it's pretty close the other two i'm going to show you here in a second are pretty different so there you go you can kind of see that they're all kind of relatively the same this one kind of sticks out a little farther 
and these two are kind of close, but this it's all kind of relatively the same ish, ish. So let's open these back up. I keep showing you. Like I said, I like to flip, uh, fidget with them. I like to open them. This one opens very well. It's got a really kind of, to me, it's got like a, a thud sound. Because I, I don't know. I don't know why it just kind of sounds like that to me. I can't do it. The, you know, that's the first time I was able to do that. Okay, so I lied to you. I apologize for that. I can now do that to three knives. And I was, I literally tried to do that yesterday. And I couldn't do it. So, <laughs> it's kind of, I don't know what it is that, I, I don't know why I can do it now. But sometimes I just have problems with it, with knives like this. But also, I think they just need broke in a little bit more, too. I think it's probably some of the issue. I, I have so many knives that I have and I carry that I don't get them all broken as soon as I'd like to. So maybe that's why. It's just a little bit of time, you know, a little bit of, little bit of time will do it. I'm going to save my very favorite, I think, for last. And it's a tough battle because this is the Devo Lush. And I absolutely freaking love this thing when it first came out. This thing was stupid awesome. I loved it. Um, now, this is what I'm talking about. It's really different. I did not think I could really flip that open very well for that front flip. And I'm talking, oh, it, it's it's awesome. It opens so smooth. I can't really, obviously, flip it like that. But it also has a top flipper, which is my first, like, top flipper. So I thought that was super dope. As like, there we go. As I tried and I failed just then to open it. But yeah, it's super cool. It's got that one. It's got the front flipper. It's got the top. And then you have your little fuller right there that you can also open it up with. And it has this cool pocket clip, obviously, just wire, but it looks really good with it. Just it, it goes, it flows with it. Yeah, I guess the way to say it. You got your fat carbon. I don't know if it's fat carbon fiber. I think it's, they use fat carbon fiber. Um, and this is the lava. I think it's called lava flow or something like that. Um, I think it just looks so freaking dope. Now, I know this was the last one to go out because they had like a camo carbon and then they also had like the blue arctic. I thought this was going to be the one that goes first. I thought the camo carbon was going to go last. I thought then I thought the, the blue was going to go like second and this was going to go first. Well, I was obviously wrong. This one went last, camo went first, and blue arctic went second. So I guess I was right on blue arctic. But, um,. Yeah, I don't know. I just thought this one looked cooler. I like the way the carbon fiber looked. And then you have the titanium and everything. And then you have a bolster lock. Now, this is my first bolster lock. And I just, it works very well. Actually, I really like it because it's hiding behind the carbon fiber. It's not in my way. And it closes very smooth. And I really, like I said, like this is a cool way to open a knife. I don't know why. Like you don't have anything to get really hung up on. Like when you look at knives, they do have like a little bitty, like that little bitty tab right there. And this, with Devo, they've kind of just eliminated it in a way. And I really kind of like it. Like, it's eliminated, but it's not because it still works, obviously. But I just think it's so cool, like, the design and, like, the the top lock, the top uh, flipper. Um, I waited for this one for a while. I remember I seen it on the Kevin's YouTube, not, yeah, YouTube page, uh, Left EDC. I remember him seeing it, showing it off, I don't know how long, how many times, like for months and months and months, and I was saving up my money just waiting for it. Obviously, I think it was 200 bucks, but I actually had put money aside for this thing just because I wanted it so bad, and it just, it looks phenomenal, and I love the titanium, obviously, backspacer. It just all goes very, very well. Like, it just looks stupid nice. Like, it is a little smaller, obviously, out of the three, as you can tell, just a little bit, and I think it's the smallest of all five. As you can see right here, this is the difference right there with the Veratus. Um, great sheep's foot. I love sheep's foot. Again, as you can see right here, I love sheep's foot. Um, great knife overall. Love it. And it's got a, uh, S90V. I love S90V. It's probably my third or fourth. Like, it's up there with my favorite steels, obviously. Um, just a great steel overall. A great knife. Just a stupid great knife, too. Like, a Devo. Like, this is my favorite Devo knife. Like, I have, I think, four others. And I've also handled the Devo Nip. And I'm going to have to say, I, this is my favorite by far. Like, it, it's no comparison. Like, I haven't had a Devo Stout yet. I want to check one out, but obviously I'll wait and I'll wait for one of those. I think Devo is also getting some knives released on White Mountain Knives. So go there, check it out, and get a Stout. I think they're doing Growler V2s, and they're also doing Premium Ponies, Pony Stouts. So check those out. Be ready for them. I think the next couple days. Um... And this is my number one of the year. Um, 
I got this at Thanksgiving time, like a little after. I saw it coming out. I thought this was such a beautiful design. It's like it just looks so good. And it, I didn't even realize it was a front flipper at first when I looked at the pictures until I saw like a quick little video of it they were doing. And the, it just, it does poke out a little bit, but I just think it's so minimal and just looks so cool. And it's probably, it's the crossbar lock. I don't know what the Vostede calls theirs. Oh, but this is the Vostede Dachshund. Oh, I didn't say that, I'm sorry. But it is the doc, uh, Vostede Dachshund. But um, it's the only crossbar or bar lock one that I have. And it's, I love the way it sounds when it opens. It's got like a little bit of a ting. Come on, tell me that doesn't sound just awesome. Like, it just sounds great. And plus, it does look very, very well put together. Like, it's got that titanium pocket clip. Beautiful. I love the color of it and everything like that. It's just very smooth, very elegant. And I got the gray, uh, I guess, the titanium-looking thumb studs to go with it. And it got the Warncliffe blade. And what I love is that the blade just hides, like it goes away. Like you really don't see hardly any of it. And it just looks so, so cool. I just love it. Um, I carried this around a lot when I first got it. And I still carry it around. And I still just flip or just walk around the house flipping it. Because it just, it's so nice. Like I'm not, it's probably the nicest opening one out of these. I would have to say, like I love my Kunwu Estau. But I think this just takes the cake. I don't know why. It just does something. It makes me feel a certain way, if you know what I'm talking about. But that's my number one. Like it's really a phenomenal knife. It is. Um, uh, there we go. M390. So it's also a great steal for the price. I think it was two hundred dollars. So you have titanium. You have M390. You have a crossbar lock. You have thumb studs. Titanium pocket clip. What What are you gonna get? What else can you get for that price? It's not bad at all. Pick it up. Pick one up. I don't know if they're still for sale. They should be. And if you haven't, they also have them in um, black titanium too. Like it's black. All blacked out with I think some gold thumb studs. Um, yeah, check it out. I like this one better. I think it looks elegant. Elegantly. But um, check it out. There you go. That's my top five for right now. Um, I also like the, just a heads up, I like the AM8 or, yeah, AM8 Flicks too. That was a phenomenal front flipper. I love that. That was in my other video. That was a loner. Didn't get it. I haven't bought one yet. I want it's on the list to buy eventually. Obviously, I gotta check out other knives, but that's another phenomenal knife. It would be probably number six on the list. Check it out. Check these all out. Great knives. There you go. If you have any questions, comments, if you have a better top five, let me know down in the comment section. Obviously, these are the ones I've handled. I know there probably are greater ones out there. I just haven't handled them yet. Hopefully one day. But you know, maybe that video will come soon, hopefully. But uh, that's all I got. Have a great day and uh